How's it going on? I'm gonna do a little recap real quick. Finally got the little coveted platinum trophy for Monster Hunter World with the large and small crowns done. Did it a while ago, but needing to do a whole follow-up video of it real quick. So pretty much as you can see, let me show you guys real quick. Just a quick little guild card. Where's that? Right. Okay, so pretty much for some of them, there are some monsters in Iceborne that you're gonna to want to fight like lots and lots of times. I'll show you. One of the ones that I fought probably the most is the Namiel. Fought that over 100 times. And uh, for the most part, you're going to want to do it the easiest method to do it here in general is let's say like you wanted to go to Guardian Lands. So the easiest way is you hit up Guardian Lands and scroll over. As you can see, each and every level of the Guardian Lands is different. As soon as you get it up to either about level 6 or level 7, it's a lot easier to go through and instantly lure in the type of monster that you're looking for. It might take a little bit of time, but for the most part, I've learned that you can get a lot more like of a better percentage ratio for actually like getting either a small crown or a large crown monsters. Especially if it's a uh, level six or level sevens, you, you you usually will get some form of a either a tempered monster or something that's more than likely you'll be able to tell it's either big or small. So for the most part, if you want to do that, it's really helpful to do that for the elder dragons, especially um, all the main ones from Iceborne. And whatnot, Namiel, Kirin, and whatnot. And if you want to do the e little easier method, it's a little more. I feel like the uh, method going to Guiding Lands is a little more tedious, but it still works out. If you want to do this one, you try out the event quests. And the basic event quests to do, you can pretty much get every single base monster to your standpoint knocked out pretty quick, just going down the line. Now, they're all active during the December event as we're in right now, so. Yoda in the forest, you can get five of them down, and then so on and so forth, going through Heavy Metal in the Waste, Symphony of the Coral, Rotten Can Zone, Alt Rock Recess, Battle to Horfrost, and there are some other missions as well as like Ode to Destruction, you could probably get like a large crown or a small crown from, it just depends upon how, how many times you do it and maybe what the percentage ratio is. But for the most part, if you're looking for certain Elder Dragons that are like really, really difficult to work with, your best bet would be going over to the Guardian Lands, and as soon as you go there, just click on whatever area you want to do. I usually lock it in place so it doesn't fluctuate levels or whatnot, and just continue along whatever area you're going to do. Like, I'm going to do, let's see, like right now, let's kind of see that real quick. Let's see, actually here, there's one more information real quick, just extra information if you're still looking for crowns. So you can also do investigations. Now, the best thing for investigations real quick, more than likely, it would be like something like this one. Like, you got about, like, a faint three times. If it's, like, a faint three times or a faint one time, it'd be a lot easier to get a better percentage ratio for either a large or small crown. But it's mostly the rewards you're looking at. As long as it's at least two golds and two silver rewards, you have a higher chance of at least maybe finding a crown or maybe finding either a large or a small crown throughout uh, certain investigation missions that you're trying to do. And you can also end up doing some of the tempered monsters as well, but um, like as you can see what I have right here is all a lot of like elder dragons that I like kept and saved and whatnot. The easiest method would just be doing those in your guiding lands, and uh, you can just keep summoning them out constantly over and over again. And the easiest, easiest little method to work with is just go over here real quick to your melding, melding lady. And usually for the most part, I, if you're going to like farm one monster at a time, especially if it's like an Elder Dragon or even like, I think I think I farmed the uh, Gold and Silver Rathlos and Raffian, and those ones are pretty hard to work with. You're going to at least just do this method. It's pretty tedious to a standpoint. Let me show you Guild Card again real quick once it loads up. Almost. Loading, 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 yeah. <laughs> it always takes time for this. There we go. Alright, so show you guys real quick over here. Melding Chick is definitely like your best friend for the Guiding Lands. Especially if you want to do just guiding out for me. And all you really want to do is just collect whatever ones that you're looking for. Now as you can see I got like a lot of certain ones to work with so just you can just hunt it over and over and over again 
Now it's not too difficult, they do cost some of the Guiding Lands materials, but you can find a lot of them throughout the game and throughout the Guiding Lands, especially like the bones and whatnot are pretty easy to work with. And you can also trade in uh, Spirit Band Gems if you also have those. So yeah, as you can see the easiest method would just be doing this. It takes a lot of tedious effort in general, but it's probably the easiest method to work with if you're wanting to do your Elder Dragons. Because you can just farm Elder Dragons back to back in the Guiding Lands, choose like an area. I usually like to, if you're doing like one or two different monsters, choose like an area that's level 7. So maybe like you have like a Coral Pookie Pookie and like a Vilcana or whatnot and Nami else. So you can do like all those areas in Coral Highlands as long as it's level 7. Keep summoning in each and every single one of them back to back. And hopefully you'll be able to get uh, either a large or small crown. But more than likely, since it's level 7, you might you know, definitely notice it. It might be tempered when it comes in, which is really, really fun. It gives you a nice old challenge to work with. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. hope it helps out. And happy grinding, happy hunting.